All right, here we are back with episode number 10 of our Be A Pro series. We're easing our way into this one with the San Jose Sharks on the board, and we're going to take our second penalty of the year right there. That's not a great way to start this one off, especially when you're down two to nothing. You can't be taking penalties like that. But yes, we're here in episode 10. We're getting back out of the penalty box onto the power play and we are uh, looking to continue this incredible season that the Sabres have been having uh, this year. Yeah, we're fir we're first in the league and I don't really know how to be honest. It's it's kind of insane. But I'm not going to complain about it, you know? We're going to be a playoff team with the way we've been playing. We're definitely going to be a playoff team. And yeah, we're just coasting our way through the season now. Eichel in the corner. To Sam Reinhardt, Reinhardt to Darlene, me back down, down up high. That shot is blocked, and now the Sharks are coming down the other way short-handed. Jordan Kyber on the San Jose Sharks, that's wild to see. Here we go. Eichel now. Eichel to Sam Reinhardt, a one-timer, but that's a great save by their goaltender. I'm not sure who it is in this, this uh, universe, but that's okay. Kyru breaks that puck out. And that's going to do it for our power play opportunity. All right, two to nothing. Let's get some action going here, boys. Let's get let's get some goals or something. And that was almost a great opportunity for one right there. But that's another good save by their goaltender. Here we go, Carrick to Olofsson. Olofsson down to me. I'm going to drop that for... Never mind, that was not what I wanted to do. D to D, Olofsson, shot, and Martin Jones is going to cover that puck up. We need a goal real soon. Or else this game's looking really dire. Before 10 minutes, we need a goal if we're going to try to crawl our way back into this one. Uh, but that's not a good way to start it. Lose the draw. That's not not ideal. I won't lie. Oof. And then we skate her over the puck. There we go. Two on one. Back door. Olofsson with a good opportunity. But Martin Jones is going to make another save. Here we go. Colin Miller with the shot. And that tipped away. Olofsson to me. One time. Oh, never mind. That gets blocked. We can't get anything going here. To the slot. Olofsson in the slot. Can't get that shot off. Olofsson again in the slot. And Jones makes another save. The sustained pressure from Buffalo was crazy. But Martin Jones is keeping them in this one. And 11 minutes goes down to four. As we can't get anything going. And Coach is going to discipline us because of it. Wow. All right. All right, Coach. Heard loud and clear. We got to score right now. Okay. To Yuki Haru. Yuki Haru back to me. Now down to Yuki Haru. To Eichel. Eichel is going to try to get a shot off, but he gets nudged off the puck there. He can't get anything to happen. This has got to be a quick shift, and then maybe we can get out. Like, we got to get a quick shift score, and then hope that we can get out here, there again, and get another one because we're down two to nothing. And this game is not looking like it's going to be going well in our favor. Logan Couture. Come on, Bank. Get the shot off, but I'm going to block that. And now we got to get off here if we're going to get another opportunity. Are the guys going to do anything? No, Martin Jones is going to make that save. We have 50 seconds, and we need to score two goals. This is the place to do it, though. We have the OV one-timer set up. We just got to get it off. Eichel, you need to win this draw. This is a massive draw. He needs to win it, and he loses it. But we're going to pick the puck up right in the slot. Send down the D. Eichel to the D. Somebody shoot the puck. Somebody shoot the puck, please. Tries to shoot that. Misses. It's blocked. Shoot it. Oh my god, another shot tries to go off, but I get in the way of that one, and that's going to do it as our guys don't step up. And the Buffalo Sabres are probably going to lose this one three to nothing. That's going to solidify this game for sure. Alex Galchenyuk getting his, his points up there. We lost to the San Jose Sharks. The first place team loses to like one of the last. That is not ideal for our season. We can't be losing games like this. And with time winding down here, the San Jose Sharks are going to hold on to this one and shut out the Buffalo Sabres. Let's jump to the next game, man. We're playing Tampa Bay. Got to be ready for that one. Okay, here we are back in Key Bank Center facing the first place Tampa Bay Lightning. We are in second place, so this is going to be a dogfight right here, but we're down 2-1. to one. Got to try to crawl our way back into this one. We weren't able to do it against San Jose, but hopefully we have better luck here against Tampa. So let's see if we can get something to happen. You no, know, we get hit off the puck right there and can't make anything happen in the offensive zone. Oh, there's a sim goal. 
It's going to be for Tampa Bay. Tyler Johnson makes this a three-goal lead and breaks the Buffalo Sabres' hearts right there with that one. But we still got to fight, boys. There's still 16 minutes left. We got to, we got to, you know, we can't just roll over. Kucherov to, oof, Palat and Tuka Rask is going to bail us out right there. Okay, defensive zone draw. We win that. And now the puck's getting up to me. Send it over to Olofsson. Olofsson shoots a puck. And I'm going to tip that in. That's going to be a 3-1 to one game now. And we're only down by two. I was not expecting it to tip like that. That was so weird. That looked so arcadey. Watch this. Olofsson tips, and I, I don't know. Like, I didn't do the animation or anything. It just went off my stick and trickled in. That was such a weird goal. I've never seen a goal like that before, but hey, I'm not going to complain. We're only down by two. Let's get another one. Here we go. We're in the offensive zone now. Looking over our options. We curl back around and come out to Eichel back door, but that's going to be broken up right there. Eichel to Colin Miller. Miller sends it over to me. I'm just going to take a clapper on the net. That could save you right there. Nolan Foot. Now, is it, or is it Nolan or Cal? I, I don't even know. Uh, Stamkos is going to pick that puck up, and we're going to oh, try to get in there on the body, but Stamkos is going to evade us with ease. Kucherov is coming down. He's just going to dump that puck in, and we're going to get off here. Stamkos with a good opportunity, and they're going to score off the rebound right there. And that was an awful change by me. I shouldn't have gone off right there. I should have played defense, man, but... We're going to pay for that because of it. And there's another sim goal here. And it's... Oh, it's Tampa. And now this game is just slipping away from us more and more. And there's nothing we can do about it except just go try to score. And we do score. But that's that's not really going to matter much. It's our 30th goal of the year, which is a great milestone to hit. But uh, this game is... is, is uh, We're going to need a miracle to get back into this one. Here we go, Colin Miller. To me, I'm gonna sh shoot that puck and it goes in! And now we're only down by two! What the hell is happening here? How does that puck go in? It's not Vasilevsky in the net, so maybe that helps us, but... That's such a weird goal! Who- What is going on in EA today? Oh my god, dude. What the hell's going on? Look at this! Completely hits him, he makes the save, but Martin, who is that? Steve Martin? Like, I don't know, man. That's a blast from the past right there. Like, who, who, is, who is this? I, I'm so confused as to how, how we're scoring right here. I'm not going to complain, but this is weird. Oh my god, here we go. Back into the offensive zone. We're going to drop that back to the defense. Colin Miller to Russell's Darlene with a shot. That gets steered aside by Martin, whoever that is. Andre Palat is going to pick that puck up off of me and break it into our, our, our defensive zone. Jack Eichel now gets that puck and looks to set it up to me, but that gets... Uh, Stolen by Kucherov. Palat's coming into the zone again. Looking to the D, but we're going to block that shot right there with the, with our stick. Our poke check is going to take that out. And now me and Eichel are coming down here. Eichel gets that shot off, and that's going to be a goal. 5-4 for Tampa, but we're only down by one now, boys. Yeah, I just, I just like to point out, EA, that this is the third time in, like, 10 minutes of game time. So, like five minutes that coach has come to talk to me and it's so annoying i really hope this is out of the game for nhl 23 but i feel like they're not making any changes to be a pro which is such a big disappointment to be honest because these conversations take away from the game so much but hey 47 seconds thanks to jack eichel's born leader ability uh we can uh, get back right at, right back out there to hopefully score again because uh, this line has scored now four three goals in um like two minutes so uh, let's see if we can just go down and get another one here olafson just shoots and scores and we're tied up what the, what the heck man who thought that we could go down six what was it five one against tampa and come back to tie this game up what is happening this first line of, bu of Buffalo should just play the entire game because, man, we can do whatever we want, it seems like. And it just goes in, and Eichel's going to steal that puck, go, go in all alone, passes it to me. I'm just going to rip that, and that gets blocked right there. But, jeez, man, this has been an insane game so far. Now we can't give up on it. We still got to play solid defense now, despite letting in five goals. We got to see if Olafson comes out to the slot, and he's going to put a shot on net, but that's a good save there by Martin as he tries to regain from letting in four in a row and Stamkos is gonna get a shot off but Rask it's equal to the challenge there 
Oh no, there's a sim goal. If all of our work goes away because Tampa scores a sim goal, and it doesn't, Colin Miller's gonna build on our momentum that the first line generated there. And he's gonna spot in the other one to give us a one goal advantage in this game. Our first lead of the game, and there's six minutes left. Stamkos wins the draw to Gagne. And Gagne to foot, foot with the shot. But that's a save made by Rask, despite my guy flailing around like he got shot. Oh, and the two big saves by Rask back to back right there also. And Stamkos is going to get the puck up to the defense. Oh no, Gagne is going to play that down to Stamkos. Stamkos back to Gagne. Gagne tries to get it into the middle of the ice, but I'm going to pick that away and break that puck out. Keem Ryan now up to Victor Olofsson. Olofsson trying to find me, but loses the puck. And Stamkos is going to break that out. And we're going to try to forecheck him. And we do not get the puck as Samkos trickles that away from us. Pass it up to Kucherov now. No! Oh, and we take another penalty there. Oh my god, we take another penalty. And that's an awful one to take. It's my fault. I can't be taking penalties like that. And Tampa Bay's lethal power play is going to go to work here. And come on, penalty killers. And oh my god, they kill it off for me. Thank god. Coach is going to be so mad at me for that one, though. But I'm just going to go and, and score and then make make it up to him. Oh, never mind. Nobody's there at the blue line. But Darlene holds that puck in somehow. I thought that was out, but it wasn't. Sent it to Sharon Govich to Stamkos. Stamkos now to the middle. And Cody Egan's going to pick that off. Great play by him. And we're going to get off the ice here and hope for another shift. Come on, coach. Put us back out there for like 30 seconds. And he doesn't. But that's okay because the Buffalo Sabres are going to win this one 6-5 with an incredible comeback in the third period. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, here we are in the Canadian Tire Center facing the Ottawa Senators here. We got Tim Stutzla, Thomas Shabbat, Brady Kachuk, you know, soon to be Alex Debrinkit and Claude Giroux. But uh, this is going to be a good one here. We're down by one, so we got to make some offense happen as we destroy Stutzla right there. We're going to make some offense happen here. But uh, I think we can do it after after that last game. Oh my god, we're going to humble Shabbat right there. Put a oh, backhand on her on net. I was, I'm actually flabbergasted that it didn't go in. Because it deflected off a bunch of people. But, but uh, you know, that's okay. Not everything can happen for us. Dadanoff's going to get that puck off. Because Dadanoff's still on the team. I forgot about that. And Pekka is going to make a great save on Brady Kachuk there as he comes out. And tries to make something happen. Connor Brown loses the puck. And Sam Reinhardt's going to get a shot off. But Forsberg's there to make that good save. Here we go. Down 3-2 to two in the game. We have an opportunity here to score one. Oh, but Olufsen didn't pass it over. So Forsberg's going to make that save. I was really hoping for the one-timer. But Olufsen decides to shoot instead. Not an awful play. But uh, Forsberg's going to make that save. Come on, man. Let's try it again. Time up. Send it over this time. No, he does not send it over. Yuki Haru to me. I don't really see my options. Going to send it back to Yuki Haru. To Olufsen in the center. To me, oh, but I get bullied over by who even was that, man? Austin Watson or something? Like, oh, that's going to be a goal, though. We get up, we pick that puck up, and we shoot it low blocker. And Anton Forsberg just can't handle that one. This game's tied up at threes. Here we go. Oh, my God. They just ran at us. Um, what the hell just happened there? Shane Pinto coming down. Too bad he had an injury-riddled season, man. I would have liked to see what he could do. But uh, that's okay. Colin Miller next year, right? Colin Miller now, into the offensive zone. Download to me. I got Thomas Shabbat on me. I gotta log so many minutes tonight. Passing it to Eichel. Eichel tries to get it to Olofsson, but that's going to be picked off by Eric Brandstrom. Rasmus saying, Darlene passes it to me, and I just take a clapper that almost finds its way into the back of the net. But Anton Forsberg is going to clear that out. And Victor Olofsson now is trying to get something happen going down low, but Forsberg once again is just going to make that save and cover the puck up under halfway to go in this one and oh my god we just get ran through but that's okay Olofsson gets that puck pass it to Eichel and Eichel's gonna shoot on net but Forsberg is gonna make that save that low to high play the Buffalo Sabres love doing it but for some reason nobody can seem to stop it <laughs> Olofsson four checks and Eichel's gonna take that puck away now Olofsson down low finds me I'm gonna look for my options I don't really see anything I'm just gonna play that puck down low again Olofsson picks it up for me but he gets nudged off the puck, he's in a battle, and pass it to Eichel. To Yuki Haru, you got the point. Yuki Haru finds me. I'm going to take a clapper right there, but Anton Forsberg is better and makes that safe. There we go, I picked that puck up off the half boards. Looking over my options. Just going to send it back down to the defense with the smart play. Hag to me. Me, I'm trying to get a shot off, but that gets blocked. This is a good, good offensive pressure here by Buffalo. 
Victor Olsen was looking back door, but he didn't find anything. And Eichel's going to pick that puck up, take a weak backhander, and Forsberg's going to make that easy save. Connor Brown now moves the puck to John Merrill. Merrill to Josh Norris. There's Norris to Connor Brown. That's an easy save for Pekka Rene, and he's going to freeze that puck. Five seconds left in this one. Coach gets us back out there. And, uh, yeah, this, game's, this, or this game is going to extra time. Jack Eichel, us, and Rasmus Dahlin are lining up against Tim Stutzla, Brady Kachuk, and Thomas Shabbat. Three on three is all about puck possession. Let's see what happens here as I get a breakaway. And, oh, my God, here we go. What are we going to do? No, we're not going to slot it in because Thomas Shabbat and Anton Forsberg pinch us. And we can't get anything going on that breakaway right there. That's so disappointing, man. I didn't have the speed. I only have like 80-something speed. So I'm not trying to cheese my character too much. Trying to make this as difficult as... Well, not as difficult as possible, but more difficult than just having 99 speed and being able to blow past everyone to score, you know? We're about to make it into this overtime now. Uh, there's been a good good chance for us. We just couldn't bear yet. That's unfortunate, but... Eichel's been doing well on the draw. Well, actually, has he, has he lost both draws yet? There we go. He wins that one, though. That's all that matters here. There we go. Breaking into the zone. Oh, but I couldn't find Con or Rasmus Dahlin. That's okay, because the puck leaves the zone, and we're still okay for the time being. Passing it over to me. Rasmus gets that puck and takes a shot. It was an easy save there by Anton Forsberg, though. And Eichel's... Getting the puck down low, send it up here. No, he does not. But that's going to be holding on Ottawa. Tim Stutzla getting a little too handsy down there. And Buffalo is going to go to the power play in overtime. Come on, boys. We got this. Come on. Ah, they don't score on it. But we still have probably about a minute, just over a minute for us to try to get something going here. I'm excited for NHL 23. I, I hope those... Uh, the strategy changes, especially with the power play and the penalty kill. I hope they do something because really, when you whenever you change the strategies in this game, it does not feel like it does literally anything. Everybody's on their one tees. Okay, come on, let's get something going here. Colin Miller, Miller into the slot. Dalene with a shot, and that goes in, and the Buffalo Sabers win this game in overtime. Let's go, boys! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, comment anything you would like to see on the channel, anything you'd like me to do. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be all for me guys. I'll see you in the next one